Hello, Leo. Let's find out what's going on with you for the week. So if you are interested in getting a personal reading, or if you are interested in looking at my lovely jewelry that I designed, please swipe to the left, whichever direction that is for you. I get confused on this whole camera turnaround thing. So anyway, swipe to the left, go to the link tree in my bio, and you will get all of that information. Also, if you would like to follow me on TikTok, I have myself pinned or uh, tagged in Free Spirits by Tara. Go ahead and follow me on TikTok as well. I already posted a few of the bracelets that I have for sale on my website. Also, if you are on YouTube and you're listening to this, all of that lovely information I just gave you is in the link tree in the description box below. And also give me a follow on YouTube. Alright, Spirit. What is going on with my Leo babies for the week? What is going on for my lovely Leos for the week? If you want to subscribe, it's down here in right here on TikTok. And it will be an extended reading of this reading. If you're on YouTube listening, you will have to follow me on TikTok and then subscribe. Okay, so we do have the Nine of Cups along with the Page of Swords. You could be researching and trying to figure out how to follow your own heart or to how do I guard my heart how how is it that I need to guard myself a little bit um, the nine of cups is all about your own emotional well-being so you are looking out for this okay the page of swords is about research it can also be about looking at people's social media so you could be looking at other people's social media 222 on the clock right when I'm saying this you could be looking at other people's social media and being like, you know what, I'm glad they moved on because now I can mend my own broken heart. Like, you could be trying to find out the truth when it comes to some things that needed, you need a closure. It's like, I need a closure on that. I needed to see that they moved on. I needed to see that something happened with that. And this is a whole thing of not necessarily you trying to spy on them, but it's more about you cl getting closure and looking out for your own emotional well-being. We do have the Queen of Pentacles. Somebody that is very nurturing and very giving to you. I feel like that this could also be you to yourself. Very prosperous, very abundant, but you're giving to yourself. There's a whole sense of, I need this for me. We do have the devil popping out. So the devil is about cutting all the toxic ties, not living in fear, and I feel like that you are setting yourself free. Right when I said that, the whole deck like exploded with information here. So some of you could be traveling with the Eight of Wands, or you're getting epiphanies, and you're getting messages like crazy. You are freeing yourself. Some of you could be freeing yourself from like a mother figure or, you know, somebody who kind of dampens you a little bit or they make, they could be one of those people of, oh, you're doing great. Well, let me tell you, uh, let me go ahead and put some doubt in your head for what you're doing. You know, like they're, they could be that type of person. We do have the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands is about being very confident in what you're doing. You're very confident in what you're doing. Now, this could be a big message from somebody who's toxic coming towards you, but you are finding your own confidence here. Just like the Nine of Cups, you're looking out for your own well-being when it comes to your heart. You're also looking out for your own well-being when it comes to your money, when it comes to your finances. You're growing in this way. We have the Death card. There's a transformation taking place right now. 444 on the clock right when I said that we also have the three of cups there's a sense of a celebration but this could also mean that there's too many cooks in the kitchen too many people telling you what to do 
which is making you struggle harder because you feel like that you're doing this all on your own. So it's like, how can you tell me what to do? Hold on. I'm not even really sure where I left off about that, but um, there was a spider on the wall. So I had to, I don't kill spiders, so I had to kind of move away from them. I get nervous because I've been spider bitten before, but it's a wolf spider, so, you know, like, he's innocent. He does, he, actually, he's for my home, not against it. So anyway, whole part that I'm getting to, back to the point. You are looking out for your own finances. You are looking out for yourself. And this is a transformation for you. You are actually, there could be too many cooks in the kitchen trying to tell you what to do. But at the same time, you're like, who are you and why are you telling me anything? We have the four of wands. Some of you could be trying to get married, but this is about ascending to the next level. It's about evolving. So I feel like that you could be finding your voice in a certain way and you're sticking to your guns. I'm looking out for my own emotional stability. I'm gonna, I'm not gonna live in fear. I'm not gonna live in the fear that you're trying to place in my mind and in my heart. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. 616 on the clock, right when I said that, which is a mirroring number. It's a very mirroring number. Bottom deck energy we, <laughs> bottom deck energy we have is the tower. You're ripping shit down. You're like, I'm not living in toxic shit anymore. I'm not thinking like this anymore. I'm focusing on my prosperity and my abundance. And that's all I'm thinking about. I'm not thinking about your toxic shit. I'm not thinking about any other thing. I'm not doing it. We have the Hermit and we have the Eight of Cups. It may be difficult for you to do because we have the Ten of Swords next. It may be difficult for you to do. But there is a sense of you walking away from backstabbing people or backstabbing things. People who have just put swords in your back instead of helping you get up. So I feel like that you are shining the light on all of that and you're moving on to what better serves you with the Eight of Cups. I need to move on to what better serves me and I'm going to expose it. I'm exposing it. What is better for me? What can I learn? What do I need to do in order to do this? You're looking out for yourself. It's not a bad thing, Leo. So we're going to pull some advice from Spirit. Making sure that the spider found its, you know, area away from me but harmless spider yes but that doesn't mean I want it crawling on me I've been bitten by a brown recluse spider before so I kind of freak out all right spirit what advice do you have for Leo remember I told you there was a transformation you have the tower coming up it's gonna be uncomfortable but it's surrender to the change, the art of allowing resilience and adaptability. The number on here is 24, which breaks down to 6. So I'm going to pull straight from the book. I'm going to read straight from the book. And then we're going to go into your extended. We're going to find out what's going to happen in your extended if you surrender. So make sure you subscribe if that's what you're going to do. All right. So the key concepts for surrender to change. Change is the only constant in your life. We're meant to evolve, to grow, to move forward, to revel in the poetry of existence before we complete our journey and cross over. You are meant to evolve as a spiritual being having a human experience. And so your soul needs you to experience change. Yet human beings love familiarity and certainty and have a way of hanging on to the idea of forever, even if it's unrealistic. Things are not meant to remain the same. We are all stories in motion, destined to make and unmake ourselves as we travel and evolve. Some changes are welcome as they bring in fresh air, new ideas, innovation, and new energy. In fact, you can sense it 
that exhilarating call to something new. In this moment of life, you can feel a potent energy brimming with possibilities. You've wanted this change maybe for a long time, but the elements took a while to come together in your favor. Ride this magic carpet as far as it will take you. This is a time of supreme, uh, of supreme success. So, that's lovely. All right, so I'm going to get started on your extended. Please subscribe if that's what you want to hear. I am sending you so much love, light, healing, and protection. Have a great week, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.